ओके सो नेक्स्ट अप वी गन अभी टॉकिंग अबाउट लिंक लिस्ट लिंक लिस्ट इज अनदर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर दैट वी हैव विच इज अगेन लीनियर इट इज ऑल्सो लीनियर लाइक एरेज सो वी हैव सीन इन एरेज दैट लेट से दिस इज वन ब्लॉक विच इज रिजर्विंग स्पेस इन मेमरी देन द अदर ब्लॉक वुड बी जस्ट आफ्टर दैट सो एरेज आर बेसिकली फॉर्म इन क्वान्टीजियस मेमरी लाइक वन आफ्टर अनदर राइट बट इफ आई टेक द केस ऑफ लिंक लिस्ट ओवर हेयर लिंक लिस्ट विल नॉट वर्क लाइक दैट सो इफ आई क्रिएट वन बॉक्स फॉर लिंक लिस्ट लेट से दिस वन सो वन विल बी क्रिएटेड हेयर and the next one can be created anywhere in the memory and the third one can be somewhere else right now linked list is basically uh, like these boxes that you see here these are known as nodes so i'm going to call call them nodes now one node will be connected to the other node with the help of a pointer like this so this is how basically i will be able to access all the data in my linked list the first node that i have this is known as head node i will always have the reference of this head node over here okay and with the help of this node i can be able to go to this node and from this node i can go to this node like this if i have further other nodes i can go to that nodes also like this so the last node in the linked list that will also have a pointer now this pointer will not point to anything so this will basically point to null so if i just draw it uh, more neatly so how the linked list will look like so linked list will basically have a node over here then this will be the first node so i'm going to call it head node the head node will basically have the reference of the entire linked list like this so this is how we, i can represent a linked list now uh, let's talk about this thing what is this this is basically a node now let's talk about what is a node actually so a uh, node is basically a, a user defined structure like we will define how the node will look like so over here if i just zoom it on this node how will this node look like it will look something like this in the memory so this node is going to have two things if i'm talking about in this uh, link list only this link list over here is a singly link list like there is only one link which is pointing in one direction so this node over here will have two things one it will have the data and it will have the pointer okay so this is basically known as a singly link list which will have this structure in of the node if i talk about another type of link list which is known as a doubly link list so if i talk about doubly doubly link list will look something like this it will have a it will have a node like this over here this will be the head node this node will basically be pointing at the next node and it will also have the next node pointing previously to the uh, the first head node so it will basically have two pointers like this and also this will have a previous pointer which will point to null so this is how a doubly linked list will look like so in now if i try to understand this thing over here what is this thing over here so this is a node which is having a structure like this so it will have two pointers and a data so a data will be there it will have a pointer over here and another pointer over here because one pointer is pointing at the previous one and the next pointer is pointing at the next one so this is how w will look like and then we have one more linked list uh, which is known as circular so circular can be of two types again singly circular or doubly circular so if i have a linked list like this in which i have just nodes but this is a head node but the last node is point not pointing at null this is a this is a simple linked list right this is not going to happen in in circular the last node will basically point to the first node so 
so this is known as a circular linked list okay structure will be same and then we have so this is singly singly circular and we can also have doubly circular so this will have structure like this i will have a node like this and the last pointer of this will point at the first one over here and the previous pointer of this will point at last like this so this is how a doubly circular will, will look like so now we're gonna be understanding uh let's start with this one a singly linked list so this is a singly linked list so let's start with this and let's try to understand how can we create this node over here in the memory and how we can further do the operations on the linked list so here is the file that i have created in order to create a linked list over here so let's create a singly linked list first of all we have to create the node now what is a node node is a user defined data structure right so we can use a structure or a class to create node over here so let me just create a class to define the node so i'm going to create a class let's call it node so this is how it will look like now what do i need in this i need a, a data and a pointer right so i will say the data will be of type int over here so let's say int data and then we will have a pointer so pointer will be of type node because it is pointing to a node na, the, the pointer is pointing to the node so the type of the pointer should be node only so i'm just going to call it next because it is pointing to the next like it's just easy to understand so i'm going to give it a name next uh, then i'm just going to initialize the values of the data in the next so i'm going to use a constructor over here so i'm going to say node and uh, i'm going to pass a value let's say call so whenever i create a object of this node class i will need to pass a value and it is going to create uh, it is going to populate that value in the data So I'll say uh, data will be equals to value and uh, next pointer will initialize at null because I don't know where to point it right now. So I'm just going to make it at null over here. So in this way, I have successfully created my class node and now I can create the object of nodes. I can populate it. I can do uh, various operations on this uh, and next up we're going to look at those operations okay so next up we're gonna have a look at over various operations that we can perform on a linked list so let's start with the insertion operations so let's say i have a linked list over here and this is a singly linked list so these are the nodes i'm just taking an example over here we're gonna see how we can create nodes and all like this so let's say I have created a node 1, a node 2 and a node 3 and it is having some data and some uh, the pointer is the next pointer which is pointing at the next node. So let's say the values are 1, the values are 2, the value is 3 and this is my head over here. So uh, what I need to do is I need to basically insert in my linked list. So let's start with the simpler one and I have to insert at the end of my linked list over here right so what i need to do basically first of all whenever i want to insert something in my linked list i have to insert a node let's say right so i have to first of all create a node so let's say this is a node that i will create and uh, let's give it name n now i have to basically just insert it at the end of the linked list so how do i need how will i uh, insert it at the end first of all i just need to reach at the end of my linked list right so are currently i am over here i will start iterating from the head so i need to basically use this pointer or uh, if i just say that if my if i move my head pointer over here to next node and then next node so let's say if my head comes over here i just make my uh, head moves uh, to the next node then there is no way i can trace back because this is a single linked list so this node will be lost in the memory it is be like a memory leak it is be there in the memory but i will not be able to access it over here so it is advisable never move your head your head pointer will stay over there only you will never move the head pointer 
instead what you can do is you can create another pointer over here let's call it temp pointer a temporary pointer you can move this temporary pointer and use this temporary pointer to find the last node what i'll do is i will use this pointer and i will reach till the last node and once i reach at the last node what i'll do i will point this next pointer at this new node and this will point at null obviously so in this way i have actually created this entire linked list and i have created a new node at the end over here right so uh, let's see how we can do it first of all let us try to understand how can we create a node and how can we uh, so we are assuming that how will i insert a node at the end right so i am assuming that there are few nodes present over here and then i am adding a node uh, at the end but there can be a case when i have no node like i have just created a linked list which is empty so in that case what will happen there will be a head pointer which is pointing at null like there is no node currently so obviously in this case i will not be able to go to the last so how will i do in this case i will say that the head pointer currently which is pointing at null i will just create a new node like this n and i will just point the head pointer over here so this is like a special case over here right so first of all let us try to understand in the code that how we can create a linked list and how we can insert at the end if it is having some nodes right so in my code file i will uh, first of all create a method that will help me to insert a node at the end right so i'm just going to take a method over here let's call it insertion or insert at tail so tail is like the end of the linked list i have to insert at the end of the linked list so my method name will be insert at tail now this method is going to take a parameter so the parameter it is going to take so whenever i call this method i will basically just pass the reference of the head over here like from where i will start inserting so i will create a node star head over here and i will pass it by reference because i want to make changes in the original linked list over here and then i will also need to pass the value that i want to pass in the node that has been created right so uh, what i'll do is uh, whenever i call this insert a tail method what will this do first of all this will create a new link uh, new node so i'm going to say node star n will be equals to new node well so basically this line of code this is going to be responsible for creating a new node as soon as this method is created and it is going to take the reference of head from where i will start iterating and all and then it is going to just take the uh, value that whatever the value i pass over here that will be the value of this node okay so i'm getting some error over here basically uh, this is saying that is in okay so basically the class that i have created i have to make it public over here so that it can be accessed outside the class right so once i have created this uh, node now what i need to do is this new node that has been created so if i go back what i'm talking about here over is this part i have basically created a new node with uh, this line of code this line of code has basically created me a new node over here okay now what i'll do is i will basically be just uh, like creating a logic that there will be a temp variable this temp variable will be at head initially and it will keep iterating until i find the last node now how will i find the last node so you see that the last node will be that node whose next pointer is pointing at null that will be my last node over here so i will say that until the temp is have not reached to that node whose next pointer is pointing at null so initially the temp is over here if i say is this next pointing at null no so i will send it forward so i'll send it to the next of this temp so temp will be at the next of itself then is it the next pointing at null no so temp will go to temp next is this next pointing at null yes so when my temp reaches at that point where the next is pointing at null i will find my last node once i find my last node what i'll do is i will basically say that the next pointer of this uh, temp so this is temp now so my temp will reach over here 
so i'll say that the next of temp which is this part will not point to null basically it will point to n over here so this is the logic i need to create over here so let's try to write this logic now i'll go back to my code and i will say that there will be a, a node star there will be a temp pointer that i will create which is will be initially at head then what i'll do is i will keep iterating my temp pointer until i reach the end of the linked list so i'll say while temp next so the next pointer of temp is not equals to null until i find that node whose next is uh, like until until i don't find that node whose next is null until then i will keep sending my temp to temp of next okay after coming out of this loop i will be at my last node so what i'll do is i will say temp next will be equals to n so what does this says says is this line of code i am basically saying that temp will keep iterating until it find that node whose next is not pointing at null as uh, soon as i uh, like find that node what i'll do so my temp will be at that point over here temp will be here so temp uh, the next of temp will point at a new node and obviously whenever i'm creating a new node the next of that is obviously pointing at null right so this is how you can insert a node at the uh, end but there is a special case that we have discussed over here the special case basically says that what if my list is empty that means what if my head is at null what if my head is null then what i'll do so i'll add a special case over here also i'll say if head equal equals to null then what i'll do very simple i'll just say head equals to n i will put the head on the new node and then i will return because i don't want to proceed, uh, proceed further over here so this is a special case right so now let's go into in the main method and let's try to create a linked list over here so first what i'll do is i will create a head so i'll say node star head and it will be initially at uh, zero so i have created the head in the memory now what i'll do i'll say insert at tail so i'm going to take the reference of head over here and then i'm gonna pass some value let's say one if i just try to uh do like this so two nodes have been created and both of them are connected now but obviously we are not able to uh like we need to visualize it also so what i'll do is i will create another method that will uh be displaying the output over the, on the console right so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna create a new method over here let's call it display so over here i'll say void display now this display method will just display all the node the data of all the nodes right so how will i do the display method so let's say if this is my linked list i have to basically say that uh, all the elements which are present in the linked list i just want to display them so what i can do is i can take help of this temp again i'll say that i will keep iterating temp until it, it reaches the last node how will i find the last node the node whose next is pointing at null will be the last node until i reach that node what i'll do is i will just say that i need to just see out the data of the temp so wherever the temp is pointing at i need to see out the data then i will plus plus temp so temp will come here so the data is 2 i will see out this then plus plus temp so temp will be here and then what i'll do i will see out the data of the temp so this will be my logic over here how will i write it i will say uh, so this is going to take reference of uh, node star head now i do not want to like modify or i do not want to like make any changes over here so i'll just uh, pass it by value so what i'll say over here is i'll say node star i'll create a, a temp and i will place it at head now i will keep iterating my temp so uh, while temp is not equals to null until it not reaches the node which is at null so I, I will be iterating until the last node then what i'll do is i will just uh, like uh, see outing the data of the temp so temp data and just for the 
proper visibility i'll put an arrow over here like this arrow symbol and what i'll do is i will say temp will be equals to temp next so i will also keep iterating the temp i will just keep sending the temp on the next node i will keep shouting the data and keep sending the temp to the next node once i am out of this loop i'll just uh, just for the visibility what i'll do is i will say null i'll just print null also okay now let's call this method over here head now i'll run it and let's see what is the output so we got one two and null if i try to add another node over here let's say three and if i run it again so the output is one two three null so this is a linked list that has been formed over here okay now what if i uh, have to do something like this let's say i have a linked list uh yeah let me just draw it over here so i have a linked list like this and last element is pointing at null so this is let's say n1 this is n2 this is n3 with values let's say 1 2 and 3 now we have seen how to insert the node at the end over here so i will create a node i will point the last pointer at this and this is pointing at null so this is how i will create a node at the end but what if i have to insert the node at the beginning how will i do this so let's say i have another node over here i have created a node in the memory let's call it n and it is having some value let's say 5 okay now this is my head over here what i need to do is i need to just insert it at the beginning over here so what should be like i obviously have the reference of my uh, start point i can get the initial node with this head point right so what i need to do over here is that i need to make the connection between this and head node so i will say that this next pointer of this new node which i have created i need i'll say that the new uh, node which has been created the next pointer will point at the head node that wherever wherever my head is so this connection will be formed like this right and then if this is the node which is there in the beginning obviously my head will also change so i will say that my head will come over here so if you observe carefully now this is my first node with head pointer over it then this is the second node then the third node and then the last node and then the null so i have basically inserted a new node at the beginning over here but ju just understand this point if you do it the other way let's say if you try to do it like this that you first pick up the head pointer and point it at the new node then you will not know that where to point n because now there is no reference of this link list over here where you because you have changed the reference so you have to understand this that do not change the head first first you have to point it first you have to write the line of pointing the next pointer to the new uh, the head node and then you have to update the head node don't update the head node first because then you will lose the reference of the entire linked list over here okay so let's try to write the code for this i'm gonna create a new method over here so we have inserted tail now let's have void insert at head again this is gonna take a node star ampersand head because i need to change the original link list and int add a value okay so i'll say i need to insert a new node so i'll first of all create a new node so it will be new node node star n new node val okay so i have created a new node now this new node has to first point at the head node right so i'll say the new node that has been created the next pointer of that node will be equals to head so the next pointer will now point at head over here and then what i'll do i will just say head will be equals to n i am saying head will now be at n so in this way i will be able to insert at head 
okay so next up we'll see how to delete nodes from a linked list so let's say we are given this linked list over here like this so this is pointing at null and this is the head now i have to let's say delete node from this so let's say this is node 1 this is node 2 this is node 3 uh, and the node 4 right so what i have to do is this node over here uh, let me just mark it i have to delete this node so what i'll do obviously what i need to do is i need to first of all go to that node which i want to delete so how can i go till there i will start from the head but i will not iterate head obviously i have told you why i will create a temp variable at the head now i will check if the node that i have to delete now i can delete it by you know whatever the value is present i have to check that uh, let's say this is the data is one data is two data is three so let's say the data of the node if equals to three i have to delete that node right so uh, what i'll do is i will basically say over here that the temp uh, variable would be I, I would need to iterate the temp variable until i find the node which i want to delete but what i'll do in deletion is a better way would be i will say that i will check if the current node at which temp is pointing at if the next of that node is pointing at the node which i want to delete for example the node i want to delete is let's say three the value having three right so i will check if the where my temp is currently at is this the node which is pointing at three because i will not take my temp till three i will just stop it one one step before so i will check if the node if the next pointer of the node is pointing at that node which is need to be deleted so is this the node no so if this is not the node i will i will increment the temp over here is this the node which i have to which is pointing at that node which i have to delete yes this is the node so i will basically take my temp till there until i found that node uh, whose next is i want to delete i will stop it one step back right why i'll tell you uh, just in a second because uh, over here if i delete this node from the from here you will see that the rest of the linked list will get will get disconnected like there is no way i can connect this part of the linked list with this linked list so what i need to do is i need to basically understand before deleting this node i have to maintain the connection of this this linked list and the entire linked list which is remaining linked list right so i have to think of this also so i will stop my temp one step before okay and what i'll do is i will make the connection of this and this first and then i will delete it this is the main thing that you need to understand in delete so what i'll do is i'll stop one step before and obviously i know that whatever is at the next of the temp is the one i need to delete so let's say this is the one i will store in a variable to delete right then what i'll do is i will say the the next of the temp the next of the temp is pointing at over here i will say that next of the temp will point at the next of the temp the next of the next of the temp so this is the next of the temp this is the next of the next of the temp so i will say temp will point at next of next over here right so first i will maintain this connection over here okay this connection and then i will delete this to delete now you can see that the connection is maintained so this is how you will delete in a linked list okay i'll repeat again you will stop at one step before uh, and the, the node which you want to delete you will step one step before then you will make this connection and then you will delete this this is how you will delete a node in a linked list so now let's try to write the code for this and let's see so over here i will create a new method let's call it void deletion and because i need to make changes in the original linked list so i'll say node star ampersand head 
and the value let's say which i want to delete okay first i'll create a temp variable so i'll say node star temp which will be initially pointing at head okay then what i'll do is i will basically keep iterating my temp so i will save until uh, the temp of next of data i will keep checking the data wise if that is not equals to the value so i will pass the value which i want to delete right so until the next until i reach to that node whose next node is what i want to delete and until then i will keep iterating my temp over here so temp will be equals to the next of temp like this okay once i find the node to delete what i'll do is i will create a new pointer over here i'll call it to delete and i will store temp of next in that then what i'll do i will first maintain the connection so i'll say uh, the temp of next will be equals to temp of next of next so i will maintain the connection first and then what i'll do i will now delete my to delete that's it so this is the code for deleting uh, the node and one edge case over here if my head equal equals to null if there is no node to delete then i'll not delete anything i'll just return in that case okay so now let's try to delete something so i will say display after display i will call deletion so i will say deletion and let's say i want to delete this node or uh, let's say this node then i'll call display again now let's try to run it and let's see what is the output so you can see i got one two three initially and then after i have deleted two two has been deleted yet the connection is maintained uh, in this entire linked list so this is how basically you will go with the deletion of the linked list okay so we can see that uh, my code is working fine and uh, if i just try to do one change over here let's say instead of two i try to delete one so one is my uh, the first node the head node over here right so if i try to delete this and if i try to run the code uh, it is actually not working fine it is giving me an error a segmentation fault right so let's try to understand why this is happening so let me just quickly open my uh, writing pad over here and uh, uh, let's try to analyze the issue over here. So I have three nodes. So there is the first node, then we have the second node, and then we have the third node like this. And this is pointing to null. So basically, what is happening over here is we. So this is the head, and what we are doing is we are using a temp pointer, right? So we are saying that I am trying to get the node whose uh the, let's say i want to delete two over here so i'm just checking if the node where temp is currently at if the next of that node is pointing at two so yes this is fine but in the case of first node uh, my temp is already there right so if i just go back to the condition of the deletion over here so what is the condition saying let me just uh, scroll up so we have uh, this method over here deletion so what deletion is saying that we are iterating the temp until we find the next of the, the next data uh, not equal to while we'll keep iterating it right now I, this condition will never be true right i will not, never find that the uh, the temp will never be at that position where the next of that node is the data right so this case needs to be handled over here right i cannot delete with the help of this uh, logic i cannot delete my first node over here so how can we delete it let's see basically i can maybe write another method to delete uh, to, uh, to do the deletion at head over here right so i can say deletion at head so this method will be responsible for uh, deleting the head node and i'm going to pass 
over here a uh, node star by reference head so i'll just pass the reference of the head and i want to delete the head over here so what i'll do is same thing i'm just going to create another temporary pointer let's just call it to delete and it will be at head over here because i want to delete the head node then what i'll do is i will say head will be equals to head next so what does this simply will do is i'm just going to uh, show you in the uh, writing pad and i'm just going to delete my node to delete uh sorry to delete so basically what we have done is just understand this carefully over here what we have done is we have simply said that uh this will be so this node over here this one this will be to delete so this one will be to delete and what we are doing is we are just storing the reference in this variable over here and then what we are doing is we saying that head will be head of next so head will come here and obviously if i let's suppose if i don't have this variable over here then i will just lose the reference of this node how will i delete this node over here right obviously we have temp but we are not using temp right now or you can also delete temp over here your your choice right but what we have done is we have stored this in some variable let's call it to delete then we moved our head and then we deleted this node over here so that's how you do it so i hope this uh, part is also clear now let's move to the next question so the next question is very simple let's say i am given a linked list over here let me just draw the linked list for you first so there is a linked list a singly linked list in which i have some data let's say there is one there is two there is three and then three is pointing at null as simple as that a very simple linked list is given over here and this is the head what i have to do is i have been given a target i just have to tell let's say the target is uh three right so i've been given a target what i have to do is simply tell me if this target exist in this linked list or not i have to search in linked list as simple as that okay so i have to basically perform a search operation so how will i do it very simple again let's just uh, think of the logic over here and i would encourage you to write the code because we have already done the similar kind of code for this when we were printing the linked list what you will do is you gonna create a variable over here let's call it temp variable so once the temp variable is created you will search if the data of the temp is equals to the given target so i will be here we will check if the data of the temp is equal if the data of the temp sorry this is the data if the data of the temp is equal equals to target if i have not until i do not found that node what i will keep doing is i will keep uh, sending the temp to the temp of next and i will on each node i will check if the data of the temp is equal to the target if i found at some place yes i will return true otherwise i'll return false and until when i'll do it until i go to the either null like i like i reach to the null right so i will keep iterating it until temp reaches over here so i'll check here here also then i'll check here then i'll check here and if i reach here then i will just return false if i don't found anything so that will be the logic for searching in a linked list so the next question says that we have to reverse the given singly linked list now basically the linked list that is given over here is 1 2 and 3 and the output should be 3 2 and 1 like this so basically what we are doing over here is in a given linked list we are just reversing the linked list like uh, if i see over here how will i how will i uh, like display this linked list over here is i'll first go to head i'll be print 1 then i will go to 2 and i will i can see out it and then i can go to 3 and i can see out it so basically what i need to do is i i need to start from 3 then i need to come to 2 and then i need to go to 1 so if i want to reverse a linked list what simply i can uh, follow over here is i can just i can just reverse these links right my work will be done this is something that i have to think of i can reverse my links so let's see how we can do this so basically uh we would be needing three pointers over here in order to reverse a linked list okay 
so the first pointer uh, will be at my head so i'm just going to give it a name let's call it the current pointer so there will be a pointer i'll just call it current current and this will be at the head over here right then the node which is next uh, to the current i'm just going to give it let's call it next so this will be my next pointer okay and i need to have one more uh, pointer over here let's call it previous now the previous pointer will initially be at null and i'm going to give it a name as previous okay so what will be the approach over here let's understand the dart carefully now basically i need to reverse this link over here so basically current is pointing at next what i need to do is i need to do something so that this can be reversed like this and this should also point at null so the approach here would be that we will first say that the next of the current pointer what is the next of the current pointer this this is pointing at over here the next of the current pointer will now point at previous okay so how will this uh, comes up the next of the current that means this link will now point at null like this the next of the current pointer will point at the previous now then what i'll do is i will shift my pointers one step so now what will happen is my current pointer will come at where next is my next pointer will go on the next of the current so next will come here and my previous pointer will come where the current was okay again the loop will continue what i'll do is i will basically say that the next of current so the next of current is this the next of current should point at the previous so what i'll do is i will basically say that my uh, next of current so this will now point at this node then i will increment my current so current will go here on next next will go one step ahead of current and previous will come at current okay next i'm again going to say the next of current should point at previous so next of current is this this should point at previous then what will happen the current will go on the next next will go ahead like it already reaches now so I'm, i don't care where it goes and uh, previous will come at current so as soon as my current reaches null my current reaches null i will stop the execution right so what is the linked list look uh, how does the linked list looks uh, right now it looks like three and then three is pointing at two two is pointing at one one is pointing at null so i have successfully reversed my linked list just with the help of three pointers and the algorithm says that i will place my current at the head and next will one step like uh, on the next node and previous on the previous node i will point the next of the current to the null over here sorry next of the current to previous and then i'll just increment one 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 that's it how that's that's how simple the code is so now and now looking at this logic over here we are gonna be writing the code for this now okay so let's see how key how we can uh, write the code now so i'm just gonna go back to the editor and uh, over here only let me just uh, write the uh, logic for the reversal of the linked list so i'll basically create a method that will reverse a linked list what do i need in return is basically uh, i need i need the uh, I, I need to just iterate over the linked list and print it maybe right later on but let's see how to reverse it so i'm just going to create a method this method method is going to uh, return me a node star and uh, let's call it reverse and it is going to take the reference of the head and it is going to take the reference by uh, like i'll pass by reference over because i want to change it in the original english right that's why so uh, let's see now how do we write the code so let me just go back so what do we see over here we see that we need three pointers so first of all i will create node star let's call it previous then we will create node star let's call it current uh, current and then we'll create node star let's call it next 
now where do i want to place it i want to place the current pointer at the head so my current will be at head and my previous will be at null right and where do i want to position my next pointer at the next of the current so i can position it when i am uh, running the loop right so initially i'm not, not going to initialize it when i am in the loop i'm going to initialize the next pointer over here okay so till when do i need to run the loop i will be running the loop until my current reaches null so i will keep iterating until current is not null so i'll say while current is not equal to null until then what i'll do is i will keep iterating my uh, i'll keep iterating the this entire loop over here so uh, what does the loop says over here i am basically saying that my next point my next will be initialized my next will be initialized at the next of the current so uh, first of all i'll initialize the next over here so i'll say next will be equals to current next okay then what i'll do is i will say that the next of the current the next of the current will point at the previous basically i am changing this uh this uh pointer now right the next of the current will point at previous so i'll say uh current next will be equals to previous okay this is done next what i need to do is i need to increment previous i need to increment current done my question is done so i'll say previous will come at current and my current will go at next that's it that's the whole code next okay and then at the end when i am out of the loop i'm just gonna return my previous because now previous is my new head this will be my new head so i'm just gonna return this and i can iterate from here and i can print it i can do whatever i want so if i now try to just uh, uh, write this code so i'm gonna call reverse and i'm gonna pass head over here so let's maybe uh, we can try to uh, you know display it and uh, i'm just gonna say node star new head will be equals to this and i'm just gonna now display new head i'm just gonna comment these out for a bit i'm gonna play it now so there is the output i have got three to one null so this is how i have successfully reversed my linked list okay so next up we're gonna have look at circular linked list and a few questions which are related to circular circular linked list over here so uh, i have already told you that a circular linked list will a singly circular i'm basically talking about over here it will look something like this so let's say i have these nodes over here so the last node will not point to null now this is a simple uh, uh, single singly linked list over here but what will happen in case of a circular would be the last node will uh, point back again to the first node over here like this uh, let me just draw it properly like this so this will be my head and basically this is how the circular linked list will look like now the implementation of circular linked list is pretty much similar to the one that we have already implemented so uh, i will be uh, you know wanting you guys to try it first and uh, uh, maybe create a linked list uh, that is like circular and let's say i want to add something at the end so how will you uh, add something at the end over here right so you need to follow the same process now in this case if i let's say i want to insert at the end over here so i need to first of all go to the last node so how will i go to the last node i will use a temp pointer same as the one that we have uh, like done in the last uh, uh, while creation of the singly linked list but over here how will you find the last node if the temp next we were checking equal equals to null in case of singly linked list right but over here what we will check is if that is equal equals to head if i have found that node uh, whose next is pointing at the head then that will be the last node then what i'll do is i will basically first of all change this pointer to point at new node that has been created n 
and then the next of n i will point at uh, the head over here so this link will be uh, like gone and this is how the link list will look like this is a circular link list again so uh, similarly you can do for the insertion at the beginning insertion uh, if you want to insert at the middle or anything if you want to delete anything you will do the same thing over here so i will be providing you the code uh, for the link list over here but uh, just give it a try just try to uh, do the similar operation but over here just make sure that you are not using the uh, null as the termination that last node is at pointing at null here just you just have to take care that last node will be at the uh, pointing at the head over here so i have uh, written the code for you guys so you can just refer this uh, file over here i have like created a load no uh, link list over here and uh, then i have inserted head i have inserted tail then i have deletion at head then i have the deletion at anywhere right and then display method so all of these methods are already given in the file so you can just have a look at it it's pretty much similar only thing that you will see over here is that let's say when i am inserting at head or let's say when i am inserting at tail over here i am basically checking over here that i will be iterating my temp until the temp uh, next is not equal to head over here i cannot put null over here right so similar thing happened over here i created a new node i created a temp pointer i iterated my temp and then i just made the connection over here right similarly if you look at the deletion over here so deletion is also done in the same way over here we are not doing it with the uh, with the value we are doing with the position so the code is pretty much same over here we are just passing the position of which node to delete so it's a second like uh, another question that you can uh, come up and you can uh, understand this approach it's pretty much same the one that we have already covered and uh, we're gonna be doing some questions related to circular link list now so let's start with the question and uh, let me just go back and let's uh, do one question over here so the first question which is related to the circular link list comes up that i have to uh, basically find first question could be that i have to basically tell if a given link list is circular or not right i have to just tell uh, that is given link list circular so this is uh, the one question that you gonna be uh, you know uh, facing up so let's take an example basically uh, i how do i determine if a link list is circular or not if i found you know some loop or something right if there is a connection in the if there is a, a node in the link list that is pointing at the head node right so this is one question that you can follow uh, maybe given a link list you just have to tell if this given link list is circular or not how will you find it is circular you will just check if there is any node that is pointing at the head node as simple as that right so this is one question that you're going to try yourself we're going to do some question another question which is similar to like this we're going to basically check if uh, a loop exists in our link list or not right so we're going to look at that question now uh before doing the question uh you just have to do this uh, yourself so you just have to check if there is a node that exists in my link list whose next is pointing at the head if there is a node whose next is pointing at the head you will just return true true if not you will just return false that's all this is the only logic that you have to make up over here but we will go to the another question which is basically saying we have to detect a loop if it is present in a link list right so let's do this question detect loop so the question says that let's say i have been given a link list like this uh, let me just draw a few nodes over here let's say something like this so this is the link list which is given over here and this is the head over here i have to basically tell if a loop exists or not now I, obviously i can see that a loop exists like if i go uh, traversing over the link list i will go like this and this will form a loop so yes there is a loop exists in the link list but how will we determine programming wise so uh, basically to solve this question we can follow the floyd detection uh, floyd loop detection algorithm right so what does the algorithm says basically 
we gonna be taking two pointers over here uh, we gonna be taking a start pointer and we gonna be taking fast pointer slow pointer and fast pointer both of them will be at head then what i'll do is i will basically uh, do the iterations or i will just move my slow and fast but i will keep moving slow one step each like slow will go to the next only whereas fast will go to the next of next right so in the first iteration slow will come over here and fast will come over here then again i will make the slow jump one step and fast jump two steps then slow will go one step ahead fast will go two step ahead then slow will go one step ahead and fast will go two step ahead then slow will go one step and fast will go two step then slow will go one step and fast will go one step so what i have seen over here is that at some point my slow and fast are at a same node so if while iterating if i found that my slow and fast have interacted or intersected actually at in some node then that means there is a loop that exists in my linked list so the approach is very simple to detect a loop we will take two pointers slow and fast we will move slow by one and we will move fast by two if there is a loop that exists then we will for sure we will uh, make the slow and fast overlap okay so uh, there could be some edge conditions also let's say there is no loop in the link list maybe there is a null right so we can check for this null also that if there is a null then obviously there will be no loop because my link list is ending somewhere so let's try to write the code for this solution now that let's see how we can uh, approach this problem so let me just go back to the code and let's try to write the code for this now so let's create a method over here and uh, this method is basically gonna return me the the node uh, if the loop exists it is just gonna return me that node that on this node i have found that the slow and fast are basically uh, intersecting each other so i'm gonna create it as node star and let's just call it floyd uh, loop detection and this is gonna take head as a reference now I will just pass it by value because I do not want the changes in the original link list. So uh, first of all, uh, there will be a edge case. Like for example, let's say there is uh, uh, like there are no nodes in the link list. Then does the loop exist, right? So there will be no node at which my loop will exist in that case, right? So I will have an edge case if head equal equals to null. Then what I'll do is I'll just return null over here, right? This will be my edge case then what i'll do is i'll create two pointers one will be slow and one will be fast both of them will i will place at head so node uh, node star uh, slow and fast will be uh, equal to head okay and uh, we, uh, okay let me just say node star fast okay now what i'll do is i will uh, run a loop until when should i run my loop until uh, my slow is not equals to null and my fast is also not equal to null what i'll do is i will basically say that fast will be equals to fast of next of next because i'm jumping it twice and uh, slow will be equals to slow of next just one time okay uh, and what i'll do is i will basically uh, just say if i get at any point slow equal equals to fast then i will return slow the node right if i don't get it so i'll come out of the loop i'll say return null i have not found anything okay so let's try to run this code over here i'll say if floyd loop detection if this gives me true then i will see out i'll just say loop exists else i'll just return uh, see out no loop okay 
let's try to run it now so it is saying that the linked list that i have created in that loop exists okay now you can try to uh, run this method in the singly linked list and it will say no loop so by this approach we are able to find uh, if a loop exists so uh, we also have a related questions uh, like which are basically dependent on this so let's have the look uh, let's have a look at the question uh, in which basically we have to tell if let's say loop has been detected over here right so let's say the loop has been detected over here the next question like which is in the continuation of this question only it basically tells uh, us that i have to uh, return from where my loop is starting from so i have to return the starting node of the loop so what does uh, that mean uh, what do i mean by that is basically if i look at this linked list so i can see that the loop is there and the loop starts from this node so the question says i have to return the starting node of the loop like the loop is starting from this node now so i have to return this one so again uh, we if we have to find the starting node of the loop we have to find the intersection first like does the loop exist or not if there is a loop then we can also find this starting node okay how will i find it pretty simple basically what we will do is uh, we will just uh, like let's say the, where my uh, slow and fast pointer intersected so i will first detect that okay this is the point where my fast and slow pointer intersected i will just give it let's give it some name let's call it intersection so this is my intersection point uh, let me just write it clearly intersection so this is my intersection point what i'll do is i will again so there will be a let's say slow or fa uh, fast doesn't matter which pointer i take over here i'll create another pointer and i will pl place it at the beginning okay i will again create a pointer and i will place it at the uh, beginning okay so uh <clears throat> what i'll do is there is this one pointer over here intersection pointer that point where the both of them are intersected right and uh, there will be a pointer over here let's call it slow which is at the head i will move slow pointer by one and i will move intersection by one so slow will come over here intersection will come over here then one again slow will come over here i will come over here so the point where slow and the intersection pointer intersects that will be my starting node as simple as that so i can get this node because the flood loop detection method is returning this node so the node that that method is returning i'm just going to call it intersection and again i'm going to create a new uh, s and i will place it at the head then i will move s once and intersection once s once intersection once at, at that point where both of them are intersecting that will be my starting uh, node of the loop okay so let's do this now i'm just going to create another method node star get starting node and this is going to take a reference of head again so basically uh, edge case would be if head equal equals to null i will just return null okay then what i have do is i will basically create a intersection uh, pointer and this will be placed at that node which at which my slow and fast pointer intersected so that i am getting from this method this method is returning me that node now only so i am going to say whatever the floyd loop detection is returning me that is being stored in the intersection point that the intersection is basically pointing at that one okay so now uh, there is some issue i guess if okay so this is a pointer node star yeah then what i'll do is uh, basically uh, i'll create node star slow pointer and i will place it at head now what i'll do is while slow is not equals to intersection until i do not get the intersection of slow and in, uh, intersection i will keep mo moving slow by one 
slow next slow will be equals to slow next slow and uh, intersection will be equals to intersection next that's it i'll just keep moving them one by one and at the end i'm just gonna return slow or intersection whatever you want to return so yeah that's it that's uh, that's how we're gonna get my uh, intersecting node over here okay now you guys can just uh, call this method in the main and you can try to get the starting node maybe you can just uh, you know store it in some pointer variable and you can get the data of that node like print the data which is the starting node you can get to print that uh, with the help of this method because this is retaining a node we can get the data from the node very easily right so this is the one question that uh, basically is in continuation of uh, flooded uh, loop detection and in the continuation of this also we have another method in which the bc we basically uh, is we, what is asked is that if i found a loop uh, so let's say i have written the starting uh, node over here the third question comes up that I, if a loop exists in the linked list i have to remove it how will i remove it very simple i'll say that first of all i need to detect if the loop exists or not that can be done by the floyd right floyd will tell me if the loop exists or not if the loop exists then what i'll do is i will find the starting node once i find the starting node what i can do is now i know that what do i need to uh, do in order to remove the loop i can see that the loop basically is going over here and again and again like this it is basically working like this what i have to do in order to break the loop is very simple if you look carefully let me just remove it if you look carefully over here can i say that this pointer which is pointing over here this is basically making the loop go again and again so if i just remove this pointer and point it at null my question will be solved right now how will i go to this pointer again very simple i know this node this is the starting node of the loop so until i found a node until i found a node whose next is pointing at that node which is the starting node so i know what is starting node over here right i i can get the starting node with the the algorithm that we have done till now right right now so i have got the starting node if i reach to that node whose next is pointing at the starting node can i just say if the next of this node is pointing at the starting one i can just say that it will point at null that's all i just have to reach till this node and the next of this i need to point at null that's all my loop will get broken right so that's how that's how simple it is okay let me just try to write the code for you guys and you can see that how simple it is so i'm going to create a method let's call it void remove loop and uh, i'm just going to say node star head and uh, edge case would be if head equal equals to null now the method type is void so i'm just going to return simple i will not return anything return okay so what do i need first of all i need to get the starting node how will i get the starting node node star starting node i can store the starting node by because i'm getting from this method get starting node right this method is going to return me the starting node right then what i'll do is i will just simply need to iterate till this node so i can create a a temp over here a temp over here and i will keep iterating the temp right i will keep iterating the temp until when until i do not find that node whose next is pointing at the starting of the node this one right so my condition would become that first of all i'll create node star temp and i will put it at the head right uh, no, not not at head at the start starting node okay now what i'll do is i will keep iterating it so uh what i'll do is i will say while temp of next is not equal to starting node 
until then i will just say i will say temp will be temp next i will keep iterating temp is not equals to okay as soon as i found the one uh, which is equal to the starting node the next of that is start equal to the starting node what i'll do is i will just simply say temp of next will be equals to null that's all done so this is how you're gonna remove the loop okay so just uh, create a method for this and uh, you you can uh, try to you know maybe print the last uh, first node last node whatever you like and you can again check if the loop exists or not so that is how we're gonna be uh, doing questions in the circular linked list